as someone who believes in to you as a person who believes in aliens and I, I, I would, you know, I, from what I hear, I know you believe in the Bible. You believe in the most high. So do you believe that do you believe in, um, uh, in Christ cracking the sky open, descending from the sky, the angels, the, the legion of angels is going to come behind him, uh, in the end times. If it's said in the Bible, yeah. Okay. So if you happen if the sky cracks open tomorrow and you see beings coming from the sky, what would you personally yourself, what would you what would you call that? I would say it's it was well, not it's not the Lord. I would say it's demons. Okay. Now I believe I believe they're demons. Now according yeah. now according to the Bible. Those that would be when when the sky cracks open and 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 you see any beings coming from the sky, those are that's Christ and the angels. Nowhere in the Bible does it says that demons are going to fall from the sky. Um, and this is just me going. This is me going off of like this, like like I said, like this is more like a biblical thing, biblical point um, go, to somebody uh, that, that feels the same way. So, for the sake of the global so when he comes back. You as somebody who believes in the Bible, as opposed to believing that this is the return of, of Christ, you said you would believe those are demons. This goes into the I the, the point that I was making about the order of things, you know the order of things, dog. You said what? I'm sorry. If the order if if that happened now, yes, because the Bible has a clear order of how things are gonna play out. So yeah, we, so if we're not even past the triple the, Bi period, the bible says the bible says when christ returns no man will know so we he don't know uh, the date bro he has we don't know the order, date bro. but this is what i'm saying I, I was when i said tomorrow i'm i'm using that as hypothetically i'm just saying because christ can return we agree we both agree christ can return any day right no it things have to happen in order man what what okay <laughs> what has to happen it says it right it says it right here and it clearly says it. it says right here and you shall hear of wars and rumors of war and you shall be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not okay. yet i agree with that all right so it's an order for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places and what's all going on right now are the beginning of sorrow so tribulations didn't even happen yet the what didn't happen? War is not gonna come until after the Antichrist oh, comes, brother. I'm sorry, you said tribulations didn't happen. What didn't happen yet, brother? These name are those things. Good. Name those things again. You just said the beginning of sorrows, dog. What is the beginning of sorrows? The beginning is not tribulations. <laughs> what is what? Okay, I'm sorry because you're because now you're confusing me. You said it's not tribulations. When you say tribulate, what do you what do you, what is your definition of tribulations? What are you what are you saying? Tribulations is literally what is tribulations. Tribulations is once the antichrist comes and the saints are getting persecuted. That's tribulations, dog. Okay. The, I got it in scripture, dude. I mean, I studied no, this. I'm not, I'm not look. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with that scripture you're reading. What I'm okay. what I'm I'm trying to point out to you because you're what the point you're making is is you, the point you're making is not the point that you're trying to make if, if if what i'm saying makes sense because you're what you're saying is okay you're saying that there's a series of things that has to happen before christ comes back correct i'm not disagreeing with you on that i'm not disagreeing with you that certain things are to take place before he before he comes back you talk you're talking about the tribulation you said the tribulations now we're talking about the situation like you was talking about in revelations with the antichrist and things like that I asked you to read, you just brought the scripture you just brought up. I asked you to read the things that it just now says are going to happen. You said the sorrows. Now you're saying the sorrows is not the tribulations. Okay, we agree with that, correct? You're saying the sorrows are not the tribulations. Correct. Okay. Now, can you read that list again? Each one, yeah. each one we'll stop at. Yeah. So you want me to go down to everything I just read? Just to just to the the part where it talks about the things that are going to take place, that when it starts with the sorrows, I think. Okay, so let me go to the exact verse. So I'm gonna start off with verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye okay, that's not happening. trouble. 
Huh? That's happened, but go ahead. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For mm-hmm. nation shall rise against nation. And, and what's happening right now? Let me stop right there. Nation yeah. shall rise against nation. What's happening right now? Are we are we not close to entering into, into World War Three? Yeah, but we're not in World War Three yet, brother. I, okay, okay, that's what I'm saying. But it can crack off at any point in time. Now keep going. All right. So there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes okay. and diverse. That's places. been happening. Right. Yeah, All that's been happening. Are the, <laughs> all these are the beginning of sorrows, brother Red. The beginning. Okay. Exactly. Sorrows, the Red. beginning. The beginning. Now, what comes after? Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay. Now what's happening? Is that happening? Or I'm not, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say what's happening. Well, it's, it's still happening right now. Now this is talking about, it's talking about, it's talk. This is in Matthew. This is talking about Christ. This is talking about when Christ is going to return. It's saying that you will be brought up and you will be afflicted and they will kill you. That has already ha- that that has already happened. All this Ooh. stuff is not happening. All this stuff is not already. I'm about to tell you right now that all before I say that all this stuff in this list is not happening in sequential order. Just because it's said like that, these are all various all different right. curses that are that plague us throughout multiple different time periods. Just That's like cool. all for one, all Christ is quoting is things that are said that are going to happen to us in Deuteronomy. And every, all the curses that are said that are going to happen to us in Deuteronomy did not only happen to us just once throughout our history. So the uh, us being brought up and being killed and being afflicted, that was the slave trade. We were brought up, the original Jews were brought up to another nation, given to another nation. Again, he's quoting the Old Testament. We were given to another nation and we were afflicted and killed be, for his name's sake because of who we were. Why? Why was he killed? Because they, the Jew, the Jewish Empire didn't believe in Christ, bro. What are you talking about? You said what? The Jew. Okay, so if they were under the curses, bro, that means they were not believing in Christ, or they weren't doing something right. Because if they believe in Christ, they wouldn't have never went into captivity in the first place, bro. So what no, were they doing? No, that's wrong? not. That's not a. That's not a fact. The Most High deals with nations. He's been telling us that. Not everybody. You think a hundred percent of the slaves who went into slavery were all wicked, unrighteous people? No, you're not. You're missing the point. I'm it's saying true. they didn't. If they were wicked, if they went into slavery because they were wicked, then they didn't go into slavery. No, they went said, into you know? slavery as a nation because we were wicked as a nation. Bro, not every individual. It's not saying that in nine, that, though, plagued, bro. that plagued the late. That plagued the nation. That was the curse. Okay, the so curse was, they, they, it's they, just they, like when we went curse. into Egypt. You think that everybody who was enslaved in Egypt was a wicked, unrighteous. There were righteous no. Israelites in Egypt. This is the bro, reason why you're going we did things. Scripture, you're going That's the reason why we did things that we did in Egypt. When we talk about the Passover and putting the, the lamb's blood over the door, because there were believers of the Most High who were still being afflicted in Egypt because they were being persecuted for who they were. The, uh, the other nations, it's not about us believing in the Most High at this point because they've already wiped that out of us as far as how we worship and how we follow them it's about them know that. knowing that we are who we are them knowing who we are and them knowing who they are according to the scriptures if you get us to understand or get us to believe that we are not the children of israel that's all you have to do to keep us from believing in the most high scriptures that's their whole plan yeah okay so once again you're off scripture his, so, his we, the reason they gave us christianity when they brought us to america okay brother so so why so why why did israel get taken from into the captivity because they were israel or because they believe in christ which one was it brother because it said that's why they got persecuted in verse nine so which one is which it? which one are you talking which captivity are you talking about you're saying brother you're saying that in verse nine matthew nine he's talking about the original captivity after well the second captivity right from Africa to uh, the United States and the Western world, you saying that happened because they were believing in Christ or because they were Israel? Which one is it? That happened because that originally happened because we were believing in Christ. That was after so, Christ passed. The so slight translation was probably after Christ passed. Not Christian, but followers of Christ. That's why we got persecuted. We yes, we were that Hebrews, did. followers of followers of Christ. We came over here. They gave us Christianity. 
which was a false interpretation, their interpretation of our scriptures to confuse us. And they only gave us the ability like, uh, uh, um, I forget his name right now, but you talking about Nat Turner, brother? Nat Turner. For example, you have people like that who, when they were able to understand in their in the language that they were reading and able to read and and actually seek the scriptures out themselves, they seen the discrepancies in what was being taught. That's why when nowadays when you read the Bible, and 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 I always tell people this: when you read the Bible nowadays, it's not a difference in what you read in the actual script in the actual scriptures, aside from the etymology. Now, when you read the KJV. And what we have now, it's the same. It's the same story. Now, different words may be changed up, but it's the same story. That's why the Most High tells you that these people can sit there and take our identity, but at the end of the day, we are who we are because the Bible speaks the the blessings and the curses to us and to them. So, if they can, they can tell us that Jesus. Let's just use it for example. They can tell us Jesus or Christ is white, but in the scriptures, there's no way they can change that without completely taking that out the Bible. Because the scriptures tell you precept upon precept who Christ was, who he came to save, but they can give you a doctrine. So the things you're talking about in Matthew, clearly you talked about the sorrows, you talked about the nations and uh, coming up against each other. The point and before we get off 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 topic, because the point, the reason why you're bringing this up is because I made the point to say if Christ came back to because we were talking about aliens, let's not get off off, off topic. I asked you as a person who believes in the Bible and a person who believes in aliens, I asked you if you believe, like the Bible says, that Christ will return and crack the sky open and he will return with a legion of aliens. I mean, uh, you see, you got to be saying aliens, a legion of, of, uh, of angels. You said that you would assume that they were demons. And I my point in this whole thing about the aliens was that if. They're tr the only reason they're doing this is to manipulate people. We were talking about government. Shit, so you think Christ is gonna come in an alien ship? Uh, brother no, brother. I didn't say that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when people or beings, I, that's why I said I made the point to say beings for that particular reason because I'm not talking about UFOs. Like I said, we can be manufacturing them ourselves. I don't believe that that's some extraterrestrial shit, but that's uh, that's just my opinion now the reason why i say <clears throat> the reason why i give that opinion is because like i said and i act the reason why i asked you that was because i said as somebody who believes in christ or believes in aliens do you believe that when christ comes back like the bible says he'll come back crack the sky open with with uh with a legion of angels you said if the bible says that you agree which it does i didn't say that to try to that wasn't a trick question i wasn't trying to throw you off or nothing now that, that's something that the bible says we know we know that so if that happens, you and, and, and it's not your fault. I'm not saying this as a, as a fault to you or anybody who believes this. This is what I'm saying. This is the point of the, the brain. Excuse me. The brainwashing manipulation. They're trying to get you to believe in things that aren't real. So when things that are real, that are professed to are, are prophesied to happen in the Bible, start to happen. You blame it on something else and you're not aware all the way up until the very end. So you're going to have it talks also about in revelations about how Satan is going to go to war with the with with Christ and the angels. So okay. when we talk about Christ going to um, Christ going to war with 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 the uh, with the uh, the angels, I mean, uh, Christ going to war with, with Satan. You ha you got to think about it when you have a entire country, not even just the country, the entire world who believes in aliens, when the sky cracks open and beings are coming from the sky, the first thing everyone, I'm not going to say everyone, let's just say majority of people are going to believe is that they are aliens. This is mind control manipulation. It has no point. I'm not saying that it has any point. Like there's no, to all, half of this shit that these people do, these, these, the, uh, the wicked and evil people do in this world it has no real reasoning for people like us who believe in christ and believe in the most high because our power is in the most high something that's real their power is in manipulation and lies it's about trying to get us to believe in something that's not real you just said yourself now think about think about how important that is to your belief in the bible Bro, you didn't let me finish the order, brother. Bro, let me finish this order of things, dog. Cause you, 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 you just, you just coming up with stuff. You, did you, you didn't let me fully answer, dog. Go ahead. No, it don't work like that. It's not. He's not gonna just pop up out of nowhere into a certain order of events. It, it clearly says that. So let me just get into the scripture, dog. 
It says, now it says, right? Immediately after the, those tribulation of those days, right? Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken, right? And so the tribulation period is after that period is when he comes. So you have to look at those things. You don't know the exact date, but those things do come in order. And if you go to Revelation, it's the same order, dog. Everybody's going to know who he is. Okay, so are you, are you done? No, I'm not okay, done. Okay, okay, keep going. And then, and then let me read number 30. Because now, now we bring the scripture out. It's not about my feelings. It's about what the scripture says. It's not. Hold on, hold on, brother. Brett. And, and then shall appear the sun, the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with great sound and trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. So when he comes, nobody's he's not going to be mistaken for anything else but who he is. All the nations will mourn when they see him, man. It's not going to be no mistake, according to scripture, dog. 